Hi, and welcome back to Fifi's Bookshelf. I'm Fifi. And it's day five of the 13 Tales of Halloween Stories. Today, I have a very bizarre story for you, and it's called The Covered Bridge. So, get cozy and lend me your ears, and let's get reading. There was only one way to get to town, walking or riding. There was only one road that crossed the river. The river wasn't bad, even though the water got a bit high and rough when the heavy rains came in early spring or late fall. The road wasn't bad, even though it got narrow in parts and twisted back and forth through the hills, sometimes in such a blind turn that Kara was sure her mom or dad would smash into something before they could get through the turn. But there was rarely anything on the road in the other direction, and they never met another car on the tight curves. No, Carol didn't mind the road that much, but there was something about the bridge, the old wooden covered bridge that swallowed up the car and bathed it with shadows. There was something Carol hated. That bridge gives me the creeps, she said to her friend Jackie one evening as they sat on Carol's porch. That's not creepy, Jackie said. It is to me, Carol said. Jackie shook her head. I'll tell you what's creepy. Maggots. Those are creepy. She shivered. What's that? My grandma told me about them. She said they come out once every 50 years if the conditions are right. They only come out for an hour. They're like fat earthworms, but they eat meat. They have teeth. She said, they're about due to come back. That's crazy, Carol said, feeling a slight shiver run down her shoulders and along her arms. She didn't want to hear any more about such nonsense. Even made up stuff could be spooky after the sun went down. It's true, Jackie jumped up and pointed toward the yard. Her eyes opened wide. Her mouth moved for a moment, but no sound came out. Finally, the screen broke free. There's one! Carol leaped from her seat and pressed her back against the wall next to the front door. Where? Ha ha ha, got you. Jackie started laughing. Jackie, that's not nice. Carol tried to relax, but she could feel her heart slamming in her chest. Sorry, Jackie said. I couldn't resist. You should have seen your face. Come on, I've got to go. Walk me part way. Just as far as the bridge, Carol said. Not across? Nope. Jackie shrugged and got up. Carol followed her down the road to the bridge. Twice, Jackie stopped and shouted, There's one! Both times, Carol jumped. Both times, Jackie giggled. Well, Jackie asked when they reached the bridge, You going to walk me any farther? Carol shook her head. Going across was bad enough. But if she went over the bridge with Jackie, that meant she'll have to go back across on the way home by herself. Jackie sprinted ahead to the middle of the bridge. She was nearly lost in the shadows. All Carol could see was a vague form. Look, nothing scary. Come on, just walk a few steps with me. You'll be glad you did. Carol took a deep breath. If she walked just a little way with Jackie, she'll be able to keep her sight when she went back to her own side. Stay right there, she said, hating how timid she sounded. She stepped onto the bridge. The wood built to take the weight of cars and trucks didn't creak in protest over this light load. Jackie, you there? The form didn't seem to be getting any closer. Carol walked, bracing herself, expecting Jackie to jump at her and shout, boo, any moment. Jackie? She called again. There was no answer. Carol froze, unsure whether to go ahead and search for Jackie or to run back. She took another step and another. Finally ahead, she saw dim light. The night, dark but brighter than the inside of the bridge, revealed Jackie standing on the ground ahead. Carol ran for it, pausing at the very edge of the bridge. She was too angry with Carol to join her on the ground. You didn't wait for me? Hey, I did you a favor. You made it. 
Now you know there's nothing to be scared of. Carol started to answer, but something caught her eye. On the ground, all around Jackie, small mounds of dirt were pushing up. At first, Carol thought it was a trick of the shadows. She realized it was no trick. When she saw hundreds of slimy, wiggling creatures bursting from the holes, even in the dark, their teeth gleamed bright. Jackie, look out! Kara screamed, reaching out her hand toward a friend. Hurry! Yeah, <laughs> you got me, Jackie said, taking a step away from the bridge. That was the last word she ever spoke. Carol stared in horror as maggots swarmed over Jackie, dragging her down. She froze, terrified, unable to turn away from the sight, unable to run. It wasn't until, well, after the maggots returned to the ground that Carol's brain began to function again. I'm alive, she realized. That was her first thought. Her second thought brought a strange smile to her lips. There was a reason why she had survived. The maggots had something in common with her. They, too, must have been afraid of the bridge. Carol turned. She still had to cross the bridge to get back home. It was scary, but she knew she could live with it. What did I tell you? A very bizarre story. Some advice, though. Try not to scare your friends too often. Because when you're really scared or in trouble, they might just leave you to the maggots. Well, see you tomorrow for another Halloween story. Bye-bye. <laughs>